Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. My channels have all the hack rank and leak code solutions. So, yeah, just check those out. This is fine merge point of two lists. I've done one more link list problem after this, and I've done every link list problem on hack rank, which is pretty good. Um, there's not that many hard ones, but I got, I think I got the fundamentals down from doing all of those. I mean, there's some good problems. Um, find a merge point of two lists. So this one is important also. Um, this one is definitely asked frequently in interviews and it's kind of hard to understand when you're learning it, especially with all these, like this crap diagram that they give you here. Um, so given two pointers, uh, given the pointers of head nodes of two linked lists that merge together at some point, find the node where the two lists merge. So we're going to get the head nodes to two separate lists, and when they merge into one, when they have the same nodes, um, we're just going to return that node's data, the one that they merge at. Um, and it's guaranteed that the two head nodes will be different, and neither will be null, which is good, because usually, so that means, okay, let's just uh, refresh. That means that, you know, these are not going to be null, and usually we have to do a check for that, but nope, and this time we know they're not going to be. Uh, in the diagram below, the two lists converge at node X. This is a crap diagram. It doesn't really make good sense for us here. Uh, I mean, just ignore that. So we're going to complete the ints find uh, merge node with head1, head2 method so that it finds and returns the data. So we do need to return the data value of the node where the two lists merge. So um yeah we're gonna there so you might think like this is this is what i was thinking when i first saw this i'm like um okay so what is this are the two lists becoming one list is there a new list is there a third list that they point to is it like is it two separate lists and then they have the same nodes or whatever so that's what i'm getting confused about too i was getting confused like i'm looking at these diagrams it looks like you know, this was a list and this was a list and then this is a new thing that they both point to or whatever. And then, um, you know, you might, but that, that is the case, right? That's the case. They both point to the same nodes and it kind of does just merge into one thing, right? So, um, but what I would do to actually figure out how to implement this is pretend that they're separate things, right? So let's pretend that we have we're, we have the head head one and head two, right? Those are two separate lists. Let's pretend, right? So we're gonna have I mean they are two separate lists, but let's let's do one head one is gonna point give us uh, one, then two, then three, and then you know seven, and then eight, right? And then let's say head two gives us five and then six and then seven and then eight right so let's say that the length of this is equal to one two three four five right and the length of this is one two three four right so how do we solve this how do we solve this well we know that they're different lengths and we know that when we find the same nodes that there that's the point where they merge so you can imagine this up here as one of these diagrams where it's like one two three um and then it goes so one two three would be up here and then seven eight would be here and then down below would be five six right and you can pretend that they both both merge i mean they do they both merge into one list eventually and seven and eight is where they merge so we're going to want to return seven here right but we're going to pretend that they're both separate lists and they just have the same values at the end, right? So what we would do to figure this out is like, you might think, okay, well, well let's just um, loop through, you know, node by node. And when we find the same node, right? So let's say that this was, this actually had a four, right? So if they're the same size, this has a four. Like we would, we could just loop through the same, right? We'll go one, four, two, five, three, six. None of them are the same. 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay, we found it, right? 7-7. Seven, seven. We'll return that. Okay, that's perfect. But if they're differing sizes, how do we solve this, right? Because if we're going 1, 5, 2, 6, 3, 7, 7, 8, we're never going to hit a match, right? So one way you could do this maybe is like, okay, so maybe we have like, um, you know, hash, hash table or something of seen values. And then you're like, okay, did I see this already? Okay, there, I did see this already. Okay, that's the value, right? Okay, but that's not the best. What we're going to do, this is kind of the trick here. This is the trick, and this took me a minute to realize. I didn't really get it at first. Is the length, since the lengths are differing, you can actually just loop through the first one, 
and the second one at the same time, even if they're different lengths. And what you're going to want to do is once you get to the end of the first one, and once you get to the end of the second one, you're going to just start over at, we're going to start over, we're going to go from eight right back to one. Oh, but we're going to go, we're going to up, st set our, set the end, we're going to have a current node that runs through this list. Once it gets to the end, we're going to set it to the head of this list. And when we get to the, we're going to have a current node that runs through this list. And when it gets to the end of this list, we're going to have a, we're going to set it to the head of this list, which was this. And what you'll notice is that they're the, when we add the length of this and this together at the ends, they're going to be the same. They're both going to have a length of nine. You know, they're both going to have a length of nine and they're both going to have the last two values the same. And when we keep looping, eventually we're going to find the same value in a linear scan. And I mean, maybe I'm not explaining that as good as I can, but if you look at the five and four, but when we add this list of four onto this list of five, then you get five plus four equals nine. And then if you add this list of four onto this list of five, you're gonna get four plus five equals nine. So, you know, um, that's kind of what you do. So let us let me just implement that for you so you kind of understand a little better. So like I said, the first thing we're gonna do is get some current nodes set to these. So let's say, you know, head one runner or head one current, you know, whatever you wanna call these is equal to head one. And then we're gonna have another one, head two, uh, current is equal to head two. So what would our like condition be for this loop? As we loop through, if the nodes are, this points to this and this points to this list, we have the two separate lists, the two separate nodes that are going through both of the lists. Well, if they're the same, then that's where they merge, right? So if head one current equals head two current. Uh, no, sorry, well, head one two is not equal to head two current. That's gonna be the loop. And then when we break out of that, that means that they are the same. So we'll just return either one of their values, right? Does that make sense? We're going to loop until they're the same. When they're the same, it breaks out. And then we return either one of the values, right? So while they're not the same, then we're going to do, well, if um, current, head one current dot next is equal to null, something happens else we just loop through right so we're just going to keep looping through um this is going to be the same for head two current so as you could see this is just simultaneously looping through the list and if they're different lengths like i set up there all we have to do is when this one's dot next is null we set head two current equal to head one so we go to the start of the other list. And when this one's null, we set head one current equal to head two. And that's it. That's the whole algorithm. Um, hopefully that makes sense to you guys. You're basically just looping through because they're different lengths. Once you get to the end of this one, you start at the beginning of this one, as you can see down here. And once you get to the end of this one, you loop at the start of this one, as you can see down here. And since it's like... Um, you're adding either one. You're adding one onto the end and the other one onto the end, and they both have the same ending nodes. The lengths will even out, and then you can keep scanning, and you'll eventually run into the same node. Hopefully that makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's important to understand. So maybe check out some other videos if you don't understand it. But um, yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching, and check out the next one. It's the last linkless one. So all right, see ya.